I've seen lots of videos of late claiming that the coronavirus pandemic is a conspiracy, but I think common sense dictates otherwise. The latest claim that I've heard being circulated around the internet is that coronavirus is not real. It's been invented by nefarious government players so that they can force their evil social agenda upon us. According to the theory, their intent is to get us all dependent on welfare so that we are forced to get vaccinated. So in this video, I'm going to give you some common sense arguments against this conspiracy. 1. Most countries have been hit by coronavirus and are handling it in similar ways. If coronavirus truly didn't exist, why then are so many governments reacting the same way? If it were a conspiracy, then surely we must agree that the world governments are somehow working in collusion. But that's simply not what we're seeing. Just look at history. Governments can barely agree on anything. Australia and China are always fighting over various trade and human rights issues. The US and Europe bicker over everything. To say that somehow these governments got together and decided to deceive the people en masse with a fictional virus just doesn't hold any water in my opinion. If they can't even agree on the latest trade agreements, how could they possibly agree on creating a pretend virus to lock down the entire world economy? 2. Australia only has 98 coronavirus deaths. If the Australian government was truly out to deceive us, why would they stop at such a low number? If they really wanted to exercise social control and keep us locked down forever dependent on welfare, then why don't they just invent some more deaths every day? Why stop at 98? If they're willing to lie about a fake virus, then surely they're also willing to lie about how many people are dying from it. If this is a conspiracy, it's a really poorly planned and implemented one. That's not to say that other countries aren't manufacturing numbers in order to get funding or whatever, but Australia is certainly not one of them. 3. The lockdown restrictions are easing. Again, if the government was so eager to keep us dependent on welfare, then why are they reopening the economy and encouraging us to go back to work? If they were truly willing to concoct a lie about a pretend virus, then surely they would also concoct a lie about how we can't leave our houses for the next five years without a coronavirus permit. But that's not what's happening at all. They're actively encouraging us to go outside and buy shit we don't need in order to spur on the economy. 4. There is no vaccine. If the goal was to get us all inoculated, then why isn't there already a vaccine? If this was some sort of massive conspiracy, then surely the pretend vaccine would already exist. But there is no vaccine. Nobody's forcing me to get vaccinated. Sure, there's been some controversy of late over the regular flu vaccine, but nobody's claiming that has anything to do with coronavirus. If this was truly a conspiracy to somehow force us to get vaccinated en masse against a fictional virus so that the government can exercise some sort of social control over us, then there would already be a vaccine. It doesn't even have to be a real vaccine. It could be anything. Just inject us with some harmless saline solution or whatever in order to force us to get a coronavirus certificate. Only people with coronavirus certificates can access welfare or public transport or whatever the government's intention is. But that's not what's happening at all. 5. The government have bungled their way through the pandemic. If this was a conspiracy, the rules would be clear. They'd already be set in place. But they're not. The rules have been changing erratically. Social distancing rules. How many people can gather? Which companies can open? Who can go outside? Who must stay at home? Who's eligible for welfare? How many people can visit you at home? The rules have been haphazardly designed. This is not a conspiracy. This is just the normal bungling government reacting to a pandemic they've never had to deal with before. You could accuse them of being incompetent. You could accuse them of being inept. But you certainly can't accuse them of being involved in some sort of global conspiracy to force us to be vaccinated against a fake virus.